Hi, it's Paul. Um, we're filming a video for a new amp that we're releasing at NAMM. Uh, we're here in one of our conference rooms. And um, just as a prerequisite, I want you to know that there's no EQ on these mics. There's no reverb on these mics. There's no compression. You've got two 57s down here on the amplifier wired in parallel. And there's a U87 up here in the air, just so it hears what I hear. And then there's a lavalier microphone on me. So no EQ, no compression, no reverb, no tricks, no chorus, no nothing. This is just exactly what the amp is, OK? So what this is is the amp that I've been using for a long time now. It's called an MDT. And we've done a bunch of tweaks to it. Uh, from experiences that we had in the studio, experiences that we've had on stage. And so basically the way it's laid out is there's a master volume. This is how loud the overall power amp is, right? Bass control, that's simple. Mid-range, simple, treble. And there's a presence control um, on the amp as well, which is an overall uh, high mid-range and treble on the power amp. We've added a new switch. It's a dirty clean switch. So if it's in the clean position, the amp has but if I switch it into the dirty position, things got some gain, right? So it's two amps in one. You've got uh, a clean channel and a dirty channel. And the way it works, is it's changing the parts in the amp. So there are four different parts that change when you hit this switch. Uh, it adjusts uh, the gain in the first stage, it adjusts the gain in the second stage, it adjusts the gain in the power amplifier, and also it adds um, a, a little bit of a bright switch to the clean channel, which uh, gives it uh, a little bit more pristine sound. So if I was to play it in the clean position with a little bit of stuff on it and just play I mean for anybody who's playing clean guitar or you want to crank up the gain a little bit so it distorts some in that channel it's exactly what you need for someone who's using a pedal board um, when you're recording and you want something that's uh, beautifully clean or it's got a little bit of hair on it a little bit of distortion that would be your clean amp so it's the gain structure and EQ for a beautiful clean channel when you hit the switch once again, it changes for the parts in the amplifier. I'm going to turn it down a little bit and give it some gain. Um, it's got this gorgeous tone to it, right? For the, just the treble ch uh, pickup, it'll be... What's interesting is if I turn the guitar down, the channel cleans up. So you've got, you know, somewhere four or five different recording amplifiers or live amps, and you set it the way you need it. A lot of guys I'm noticing are have a pedal board and they want a beautiful, slightly distorted clean tone, and then they're using the pedal board for all their gain and reverb and echo and distortion and overdrive and pedals like that. Um, that seems to be the more constant thing that's going on. For me, I like to get all the gain from the amplifier and turn my guitar down and play rhythm below the rail, below where it distorts and without even touching the amplifier or not having to be addicted to a place on the stage where I have to hit a pedal. So it'll do all that stuff. Now I can tell you that we spent a lot of time making sure this thing sounds gorgeous in the studio. And it, it became, it almost got to be a joke. We would put the mics up and instantly the thing would sound good. When we were in here, we put these mics up. I don't think we moved the mic to get it to sound good. Uh, 
in Pro Tools. We just put it up, played, and then it sounded good. That's what you want in amp. No matter what you do, it sounds good, and it's a usable piece of gear. So now this is kind of hard to swallow, but they've named this Paul's MDT, so whatever. I'll live with that long term. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of jokes about it, but anyway. This is a 50 watt version. We make a 100 watt version. Uh, it doesn't have internal reverb. It's just a beautiful sound and amplifier. If, you want, if you're in the studio, you want some reverb, put up a gorgeous plug in it and use that reverb. Um, if you're, uh, and, and what we do when we're live, I let the sound man play with the echo and I let the sound man um, play with the reverb on my tune. But once again, a lot of guys using pedal boards are covering all that. So. What my guarantee is, is this is a very musical amp and it will do um, a musical job for you. Whatever you're playing will come out um, well. I like the amp. I'm willing to put my name on it. Actually, I love the amp. When we were in Japan, um, there were a lot of guys taking pictures of it because it sounded so good, which was just good fun. There you go. End of the video. We're going to release it at NAMM 2013. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.